In this video I will show you how to render a scene into motion without Path Tracer or Lumen. This is part 1 of a series where I show you different scenarios of how to render without Path Tracer or Lumen. Please note, this is just my way of how to render a scene into motion and you can absolutely do it differently if you want to. First, you need to import your 3D model into Twinmotion. You can import your 3D model via geometry or direct link. In the next step, you need to apply materials into your scene. And I personally like to use Quixel Megascans materials, but also for glass or tiles, I like to use the normal ones. And you just drag and drop the material into your scene and then you're able to change the scale of your material. So for the next step, I usually go for trees and vegetation, but also note that if your system crashes easily, then do this step at the very last. Option number one is to go to your Megascans library, go to 3D plants and go to grass. Or you simply create a vegetation paint. To do that, you go to populate and foliage and then you're able to choose paint. And then you just have to drag and drop the grass into this little rectangle. But note that um, as far as I know, you can't use Megascans grass. So for the next step, I like to enable a backdrop HDRI. To do that, you go to your library, go to HDRI environments and choose between Sky Dome or backdrop HDRI and drag and drop it into your scene. Um, you can also create an image and then you click on the image and then you're also able to change the environment settings on that specific image. I also like to adapt the intensity and the rotation of the Sky Dome or of the backdrop HDRI. If you're using glass in your scene, like in a window, I would advise you to go and use a reflection probe. Go to tools and go to reflection probe and then drag and drop the reflection probe into your scene and you can also change the size. To get a more realistic look, I like to use some decals in my scene, especially when I'm not rendering with Lumen or Path Tracer. And to do that, I usually type in, in the search box decals and then I just drag and drop the decal into my scene and I change the opacity of the decal. For outdoor scenes, I like to use some stains on the wall and on the floor. And for indoor scenes, I like to use um, some shadows. So I'm nearly done now. So now I'm just putting some furniture into my scene. Just drag and drop it into your scene. So for the last step, I have to create a media, um, an image or a video. And I usually try to find a nice perspective. Sometimes I enable depth of field, but it depends um, on what I want to render. And yeah, that's it. Then I just click on export and yeah. I hope you could learn something from that video. Um, also, please note that this is just a quick overview on how to render without Lumen or Path Tracer. And when I render professionally, it takes much longer and I also focus on more details in my scene. But for the sake of the video, I just kept it uh, quick and simple. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and also comment if you have any more questions. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next video and thank you so much and bye.